Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this Backtree campaign. Now I just loaded up the game and it loaded after, or actually before I uh, I ended up the turn, so yeah, I, have to, I had to make a lot of movements um, back, you know, I had to remove this army, remove this spy and such. Uh, not remove, move again. <laughs> it's, it doesn't work like that in English. Okay, so this guy... Can I put it in standard formation? I can, thank you. You can actually go in force formation. You can actually go in force march really nearby here. And maybe I could, you know, just try to to put this army under siege or something. Now one thing that I haven't done is to actually upgrade this uh, general to secure his promotion because it costs money. And what I want to do is perhaps use my spy either against this army or against this one. Now, traces. If I attack this army, if I poison that army, I would get, you know, I would be able to use this one to attack there, and therefore this one with that one to attack Susia. If, on the other hand, I poison this army, I can use this army to attack here in... So, what should I do? What should I do? You know, this army, What what is the most powerful one? I think it's this one, actually. This one can't retreat. But this one can. So, it makes sense that I actually sabotage this one to ease up the battle with this guy. And then the other two ones can attack. This guy could attack here, but I think I had withdrawn him. And for a good reason. Let's just go for Tofrada. No need to overextend myself. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to sabotage. That's it. Come on. Please be successful. Okay, so it wasn't successful. Then I'm screwed. But this army is really not that difficult to deal with. You know, a couple of slingers and such, but most of their forces are not worth it, you know. I have more men than he does. Have still a lot of ballistas, still plenty of slingers to do some damage, and a lot of pikemen which he doesn't have an answer to because, well, he would need his slingers, he would need his cavalry. I think I have enough uh, units to deal with his cavalry as well. So why not, you know. That way I would be able to attack Susia as well. So let's go for it. Yeah, why not? Let's charge them. It does say I'm in a very uh, comfortable position here. Yeah, it does state that. So, why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Good. So, if they are on the fort, that's good for us. Because I can bombard them with my ballistas right away. There they are. So, I'll al also be able to deploy properly. And I think I want to go on one of the sides, and I'll, I'll explain, because the fort is not, uh, it, it does seem like a square, but it actually isn't. I'm going to point out why, because it has three entrances. So if you actually put your units on one side, then he has to turn a little bit around, he has to mess up a little bit. Uh, it does mess up with, a little bit with his AI, so a couple of units will take longer to arrive if they leave from, you know, the back... Um, the back door, let's say, and that makes his units clump up a little bit, uh, a little bit more, you know. So it it's always good to, you know, deploy on one of the sides if you can. Uh, of course, you can deploy right away in the uh, to the front of them, but not not that ideal, I would say. Yeah, for instance, this is a perfect position, you know. Uh, they will clump up a lot either here or either here. And that will provide you with some nice juicy shots with your ballistas. So that's exactly what I want. On this case, of course, because I have ballistas. Let me use some explosive rounds. Thank you. Slingers, they're gonna move forward. I always think the skirmish mode, you know, I kinda like the skirmish mode, but some sometimes it's just annoying. Uh, let me move these guys and fight phalanx. Thank you. These guys, they're gonna cover this up, this side. 
cavalry, they're gonna be covered by them. And the, actually the medium missile troops also with no skirmish. That's it, general over there, because the right flank or the left flank is kind of protected. He has to go all around it, so it's not as needed on its side. Now let's move these guys, actually let's move these guys really over there. Actually it's not gonna be able to, so let's just deploy here and move. Let's go here, thank you. Let's go over there, thank you. And this cavalry unit, let's go over here. General, just move closer to the ballistas. That's it. So he's moving in his citizen cav. That's good. He's moving in towards the worst spot, I gotta say. So let's just deploy my cavalry here. Come on. Let's move them over there. Those are some citizen cav as well. He's moving a couple of them over there. No issues. Yeah, he's gonna suffer a little bit with my units. Please, thank you. Please shoot everything that is over here. Thank you. That's a citizen cav. I can send him out over there. Actually, not you. You can charge over there. Citizen cav and citizen cavalry. Let's go there. Citizen cav, let's form up the precision shot. I don't care if he charged on the back, he's not going to be able to do some damage here. That's another citizen cav, so he's losing badly. Everything here seems to be fine, citizen eagers. Let's go with these guys as well. Elephants, let's trample them, shall we? Not properly a rally, but let's do that. You can see that my Thorax Hoplites, even though they're under attack, they're doing just fine. Oh, hang on, three, let's form up the pikes. Oh, barely in range, barely in time there. So, ballistas, you can actually start shooting some slingers. I know that's better. These guys, let's just position them here. That's good. Come on, Thorax Hoplites, go over there. Let's move you here, thank you. That's it. So how are everything here? The shaken and shaken. Elephants, can you just rally everyone? Thank you. You're gonna be able to do some good, nice, juicy damage there. Cavalry, let's go over there. You're gonna attack here. Let's charge them up. Thank you. Bactrians, let's charge them because I know that mine are much better. Over there, the citizen cav and such. Okay, actually, all the citizen cavalry get out of there because the elephants are more than enough. Let's go. I know he's under attack. I set him to attack. Let's just stop you there. You can actually attack those. Let's go for it. You are not in trouble. There's another one there, okay. Don't worry, elephants, kill them all. Let's actually go with that. Nice! Missile cavalry, get out of there. Let's go. What is this? Good, some thorax operatives. That's some spearmen. Let's get away from them. Okay, citizen cavalry, let's go over here, thank you. On with the elephants, you're gonna manage pretty well against the citizen cav, no problem. So everything here seems to be properly proper. Let's go over there, what are these? What are these units doing? There we go, some of them, oh hang on! Oh boy. Elephants, okay. Cavalry, horse archers, let's go over there. That's it. Let's actually pursue these. Pursue those, thank you. My cavalry is going with some damage. Because of that medium cavalry. Let's go. Charge them over there. Stampede. That's what I'm gonna do. After the rally, of course. 
Sorry, accept it is. No problem. Okay, you, sir, let's use that rally ability, shall we? Stampede, thank you. And rally them up. Good. That's it. His general is broken, so we won this battle. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, you guys, you should move over there. That's it. Factory ends, let's move forward. Thank you. Citizen Cav, let's attack here. The median cavalry, thank you. General, they're doing pretty well. Let's go over there. Cavalry, come on, Citizen Cav. Kill the general, will you? Missile cavalry, you're not doing as well. Oh boy, I moved them into the middle. Move them into the middle and now they're under attack by the towers. Oh, poor. Poor decision on my end. What is this? That's why they're not doing anything. Come on, Slingers. You can do it. That's why they're still not wavering. Oh, boy. What is this? Oh, they're 35. They've lost a lot of men here. Uh, you guys... Just attack it. Oh, there they are. There they are. They didn't kill the general as well. Okay, these whole skirmishers. Please just kill them, will you? Come on. I know that you've got to do that. That's it. End the battle. I'm pretty sure that this was a standard one. You know, I certainly hope I didn't lose any full units. Didn't do too much damage there. Now, as I predicted, their cavalry did most of the damage. Um, but still, still a nice battle. I wasn't paying attention when he charged my citizen cap. So, that was a bit of a mistake on my end. Also, I keep forgetting about the towers whenever I'm fighting this, these forts. Now, I always think that the towers are like on medieval, where you kind of have to, kind of need someone there to, to, for them to fire. Which is not the truth, you know, they will always fire to anyone in range. But oh well, so does the AI, so so I'm fine, I guess. Okay, so this means that Patav is actually going to lose one of his cities. And, yeah, that's, that's good for us. It's good for us. And he actually is going to lose two armies, so maybe I can break them even faster than I, than I was thinking. And of course, further conquests always help out. Now, let's see. The, the worst part of this episode is actually to see what's going on on the, the north. I don't know how I'm going to survive that one. I expect my uh, poison dudes to... my spy to do a good job. You know, if I can poison them... If, if he captures my city and if I can poison them afterwards, then so good. If I can't poison them afterwards, they're going to replenish a little bit, and that's going to be bad for me. Okay, let's see. I don't think he's going to survive with anything. Perhaps he's general. I don't know, but they, they were on the fort, so maybe that means they are completely good. Okay, got a lot of leveled up. He's still surviving a little bit there. Let's kill all the captives. Yeah, he's retreating, but no point. No point. So, this army, here's what I'm going to do. I can't protect Artakuana, but what I actually want is for this army to approach. It cannot. It has to be on forced march, which is a bit bad for me. Does this army can... no, it cannot move there. So, I guess I can move this guy here. That's it. That's it. It's not a full army as well. But now I might be able to... That's good. Now there's a couple of reinforcements here, but I know that most of them are just... Exactly, just garrison troops. That's good. Let's auto this one. No need for... You know, no need for this. Let's use the balanced state, because it makes my units not die. Did I lose anything? Not at all. Perfect, perfect stuff. Now I could get, I could loot and get just some, some money. 
Yeah, all captives are enslaved. I could look. Public order is greatly reduced in diplomatic because the previous orders will suffer additional. Well, but all buildings will be damaged. I really don't like. I prefer the occupy. That's it. Increase in rank. And I'm earning some more money. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now, what should I do? Should I move this guy down? Because there's no more any threat. Yeah, I can get it too far there. there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect stuff. Now, my spy, can I move it? No, I cannot. Uh, Susie certainly is going to dismantle everything I can. That's it. You moved in for smart, you're no longer in for smart, so that's perfect. And I can get some reinfo some uh, stuff here. An authoritarian or the warrior? Kind of like this authority guy. Wealth from ministry. Well, he's a general that's been used for battles, so no, I guess. I want some melee attack or something. Well, not a lot of stuff. Let's go with melee attack skill. No problem. No problem. So, Parthia doesn't have too much here. Pathava only has this. Actually, yeah, they only have the capital there. I don't know what they have there, but no problem. Bam only has this, or actually Sagatius, so I'm going to use both of my armies there. That's perfect. Uh, so far, so good. I can always retreat, if necessary, over to Merv. So the only problem that I have is actually this army, and it's a little bit depleted. I guess I guess I'm going to be fine here. Yeah. I, what do you have to defend yourself? Just what pikemen, some instant slingers. Yeah, the basic stuff, I really need to upgrade this over to this. Yeah, it gives me more pikemen, it gives me more stuff. Yeah. Let's end up the turn and see what happens. Come on, dude, just withdraw there. Just withdraw. Don't attack. Don't attack. Try to outmaneuver me, please. You can't outmaneuver my spy, so I'm gonna get some good damage there. Come on. Let's see, it's almost their time. Roxolani, can you capture these guys? No, we can't. It's their turn. Very soon, come on. Drangiana didn't do anything as well. They are all over to the south. Neither did Partava or Sagartia, that's good. There they are, they're gonna over they're gonna go over there. Perfect. So long as they keep moving around and not doing anything else, that's good for me. New political intrigue. We gotta check that out. Mission issued, defender of Bactria. Defeat this army in battle. Awesome, he moved in, so I'm gonna use both my armies against him. That's it. Even if he captures me, that's good. Section report troubled populace in Parthia. That's it. And trade gained. Perfect stuff. Okay, I got some new technology. I got actually this one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Which what, what was it? Uh, temple design actually. Where's temple design? I got this legal institutions, not this one. It's this one. Temple design. I could get a metropolis, but there's no point. You know, I already have a level four for the minor ones. I think the diopter would be nice. That also, you know, cost makes buildings cost a little bit less. I certainly don't want to go into this already. Or even this one. Not a necessity for now. You know, the recruitment cost seems fine, but I still don't have any ports. I want to wait for that. Uh, perhaps some land reclamation or some public auction to get a little bit more food. Um, let me see here. Certainly not this. I guess I, I, there's no problem in going into the opter there. Now there's still a couple of issues here, which is oh, I can I can't actually defend there. Yeah, I can't attack them. I don't know why this unit can't attack them, actually. But I certainly can defend this. Um, let me check one other thing. I don't have any other armies building up. 
had forgotten about it. That was the last army that was building up. Do I, can I recruit another one? I can. I should start one. Let me see. Secure promotion. It's fairly good, nice one. Let me see if I can secure a couple more promotions. I can. This is rather good for me. Let's make sure. I can actually secure more promotions. More tax rates. A little bit less influence. Assassinate or bribe would spread rumors that costs too much. Costs too much. I could actually marry him. Hmm. No need, no need. I need the balance on these guys. Still not going to secure promotions. I have a lot of money, but I don't want to do that. Now, these guys... Uh, how many turns? Five turns. Okay, let's move them here. And you're also going to move in. That's good. Okay, so I need something that gives me gold. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. This, this, this gives me, civil settlement gives me actually some wealth from all sources. This is for farming, this is for market. I prefer the silver one. And, well, actually, I could go with Susia. You know, and build up some stuff, some consecrating grounds, and some homestead. Now, let me check one thing. Can I... Uh, I cannot even attack that guy. Okay, let's just see if there are any armies nearby. Um... I think I can sabotage this guy. That's it. Please be successful. Awesome. So Parthava does not have anything to attack properly. They can't attack as well because of my attack there. Uh, this gentleman, sir, can you go over here and deploy? Thank you, sir. That's it. Now you guys, you can actually just move in. You know and protect. It, this way he won't be able to attack me and I might be able to just move a little bit away from the city while still protecting it. Something like this. Yeah, it is protecting the Susia, so no problem there. Perfect. Now let's see over here. Gotta move over and try to sabotage that guy. Well, let's move him here. As you he will probably get to you loners, but so far, I'm doing fine, actually. Steeds of Doom, well, it's just horse archers. It's just horse archers, and I have plenty of forces to dish out some damage to him. Could recruit some more units, or even some higher, some mercenaries. I think I'm not going to need that. I can just deploy here. Yeah, keep on their toes, that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, let me check here. Should I build some some other stuff up? Let me check. Certainly cannot. Uh, let me check my agents. Got some agents. Two, zero, and champions. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the next turn because I certainly need some dignitaries to get more money pumping up. Uh, so I'm not gonna use this money. Yeah, basically that's it. This guy can you can even move here a little bit. It's gonna take four turns, four turns to replenish. This is gonna take six. Yeah, it's taking a lot more time more time to replenish now. So far so good. Let me end up to turn. Let me end up to turn. Now let's see what Parthia is going to do. Let's see what they're going to do. Come on, Parthia. It's your turn. Whatever they want to attack. Yeah, they retreated, of course. And now I can move in and uh, snipe their armies. So, so long as Partavi is being, you know, held there with my spy, I'm, I'm fine with that. I certainly want to capture first. Um, well, I could actually attack Hikatompos there. Well, I gotta do that because they have extra armies there. Three armies, actually. So all the stakes are to protect Susia. Let's see if I can... Natural causes. This guy died. Okay, I wasn't actually using him. Unhappy for place. Encourage it on Scythia. There was no attack here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please be successful. 
Please be successful. Sabotage. Awesome! It's done! It's done! This army is still gonna suffer from attrition next time. It's not gonna be able to move. So perfect, 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 perfect. Are there any other armies moving in? Doesn't seem like. Okay, so I can just keep moving here. That's it, through the roads. I did lose a couple of men, but no need. This army, if he tries to strike on Sarai, then it's gonna be good for me. He doesn't have a lot of movements now that I see. Yeah, he's gonna be there. So perfect, perfect stuff. Do I have something else that I wanna build up? I certainly have. I could build a coin maker. It decreases the public order, but it increases that. I can actually build a temple, which also increases a little bit Hellenic cultural influence and more wealth. Bactria can't build nothing. Oh! Forgot about it. Forgot. I saved up money for this. Okay, let me see. Cultural propaganda. Okay, wealth from culture. Research rate. Perfect guy. Perfect dude. That's it. That's it. Minus 12 there. No problem. Now, I'm going to save up. Uh, now, okay, these are the armies from Patava. And there's one army here from Drangiana. Oh, that's nice. Still, let's sabotage this guy. That failed. No problem. No problem. Still got to see what he has over there. Now, I can't see his forces here on Misa. I, I can't actually attack him. So I gotta move into Susia. And I gotta move this guy. That's it. A little bit over here. At your command. That's it. I'm gonna recruit some units. At Get least one unit. Come on. At least one unit. Don't have too much money. So over to the north, everything is controlled. Over to the south, though. Ready Let me see battle. if Dangriana is fine. Make haste, men. Let's make some Ready small them. movements. I certainly don't want them deployed on places Other where there's no revolted. stuff. Can I actually attack? I honestly don't know. March. I can attack. So that will be on the next episode, guys. Thank you all guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next episode with this attack here on BAM. So goodbye. Cheers.